At Secure Circle, we help our customers achieve zero trust by securing data on endpoints. We do this by transparently encrypting data regardless of file type, application or size. We provide granular control and visibility of data that's secured. And our customers can revoke access to data regardless of where the data is written. In the following demo, you'll see how we can secure source code as it comes out of a code repository onto the endpoint, and it's only accessible to approved processes and applications, such as developer IDEs or compilers. Here you can see I have a developer desktop. At this stage, I have no source code. I have the secure circle agent installed so that I can secure source code as it comes out of the code repository onto the endpoint. If I take a look at what's on the file system, I actually have one file already secured by SecureCircle, and that's my SSH private key. By securing our SSH private key with SecureCircle, it means we can control who can access the private key. In this case, only the Git process on my developer desktop can access the SSH private key. If I try and access the SSH private key with any other application, such as Notepad, what you'll see is, I can't get through the encrypted bytes. What this means is we're completely in control of access to the SSH key and only the Git process, so the checkout process on this developer's device can access that key and therefore check out code from our code repository. So on this machine, I also have VS Code. This is my approved IDE. This is allowed to access source code once it's on my system. And you'll see how that works in a moment. Let's check out some source code now using the git process, which does have access to our SSH key. What you'll notice is git had no problem accessing that SSH key, which Notepad couldn't, and allowed me to check out some source code. You'll see that all my source code that got checked out is completely secured on the endpoint. Once again, if I try and open that with Notepad, I'm not going to be able to access it. And that's true for any process that hasn't been explicitly approved. In the case of this developer endpoint, I've allowed access to this code using VS Code. This means as a developer, I can do my job, I can access code. I can even run code, as long as the process running the code has also been approved. So what if I try and copy code from my approved process to a disallowed process? Let's take a look at what that looks like. So for example, let's create a text file on the desktop. Now let's go in and let's copy some code from the IDE. What you'll notice is Secure Circle has blocked the ability to copy code from an approved process to a disallowed process. This is how we keep control of the code, even on the endpoint. Further to this, if I try and open that same text file from the desktop itself, I can paste the code because it's going through an approved application. However, if you watch what happens when I save this file, this file also becomes protected, which means once again, if I try and access this code through a disapproved process, you'll see that I can't access the decrypted bytes. So let's take a look at what happens if we disable this developer's access to the source code. As you can see, my developer no longer has access to source code.
even an allowed process on this endpoint can no longer access the decrypted version of the bytes and no longer access the source code. So let's delete the code that we checked out and let's have another attempt at checking out the code. Because I've been disabled as a user, not only can I no longer access source code, I can't access the private key, which means I can't get to the code repository. Not only have I removed the ability to get access to the source code on my endpoint, but I can no longer check out code via SSH. For more information on how SecureCircle can help you secure data on the endpoint, please visit our website, securecircle.com.